well it's summer here in australia and that means one thing it means it is hot and it is definitely hot here in australia at the moment and when i'm hot and i'm out in the outdoors it means i am sweating sweat not only does make you smell a little bit bad but it doesn't go very well with leather and leather watch straps and sweat don't mix particularly well which is one of the reasons why i don't actually wear leather straps i wonder what it would be like to live in a bit of a cooler climate James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I am talking about watches. Well, as you can see, we're back in the studio filming, and it's a little bit cooler inside. But before we get into anything further on this episode, I want to say a big thanks to Chris over at Merley on Time. If you haven't checked out Merley on Time on YouTube, he's one of my favourite content creators. He's also such a lovely fella. I'll leave a description to his channel below. But sweating in the outdoors with leather straps is only one of the reasons why I don't wear leather straps very often on watches. It's also because I really, really like the look, the feel, and the weight of a bracelet on a watch. There's something about the weight and feel of a bracelet on a watch. When you're looking down and you feel it and it's really fitting well, I really do like that. And I sort of like that little look and that sort of feel over a leather strap, especially when it comes to fit, because Bracelets tend to sort of conform to your wrist, fit around your wrist nicely, whereas I've always found with leather straps that they fit a little bit strange. They maybe sit up off my wrist a little bit, maybe sit to the front or the back of my wrist a little bit, and it just seems to fit a little bit strange, and I haven't enjoyed that experience of leather straps on my wrist. And I tried quite a few leather straps over the years because I really do like the look of leather straps on watches. Certainly there are some watches that bracelets don't really suit, or they don't come with a bracelet that fits in with them well, so I really wanted to own leather straps and watches so I've tried and tried and I never really found it really work for me. Yes it was sweaty outside and that was really not the best climate for it and yes it didn't seem to sit on my wrist well. I tried a few different straps from a few different areas and none of them really worked for me until I bought my Hamilton Jazzmaster GMT Traveler 2. Yes I'm talking about that Hamilton again I know I talk about it a lot but that watch came with an amazing ostrich leather strap that had been worn in already because it was a second-hand watch. And it taught me two big things about myself and about leather straps. The first one is a pretty obvious one, which I really should have picked up on earlier. That is that the fact that leather straps really need to be worn in. I really need to wear them on wrist for a significant amount of time so they really conform and fit to my wrist better. But that is not the only issue that I've had with them. And it's not the only issue that this strap really taught me about leather straps. It is the fact that I like particular leather straps, particularly nice leather straps. Now, I'm not talking about it has to be a particularly expensive leather strap, but it has to be something that is sort of looks good, feels good, has a bit of a wow factor to it, and that I really enjoy wearing. So yes, I'm gonna put my hand up right now and say that I am a leather watch strap snob. Yep, I am, definitely. There is a certain, certain leather straps that I particularly like, and there has to be something a bit special about them, which then led me to the understanding that actually there are some straps out there that I might be able to wear with watches. Firstly, I'm not gonna be able to wear them in the heat because yes, I've already ruled that out. But Australia's not always hot, so I am gonna have some temperatures, some parts of the year, and certain times of the day that I am going to wear them but I need to find the right straps and I need to then wear them in. So I went through a bit of a process of trying to figure out what straps I could buy that I would enjoy. And I pretty much ruled out all the sort of AliExpress cheaper leather straps because they weren't really that great. And I tried a few and they weren't specifically fantastic. I did find a few that were nice that came with watches that I bought that once I wore them in that they were actually fantastic. Like from my Roland Pilot Turbine, that strap is fantastic, but I can't buy it separately. Plus it is a Pilot style strap, so it only really suits that style of watch. But then I sort of went online and I found a heap of companies that produce really good quality straps, but none of them really stood out to me. And it's probably because I was looking for this wow factor. That Hamilton strap, not only is it ostrich leather, which gives it a very interesting look and color, but it also has some 3D effects to it that I really like. And I think that wow factor for me really makes me start to like and enjoy wearing that one. So I was starting to look for that. And although I found a lot of companies that produce straps that looked fine, 
none of them had a wow factor that made me want to buy them. That was until I came across one strap from one company, Barton Straps. Barton is one of these companies that sells aftermarket straps. They tend to make quite good straps. Nothing particularly different from other companies that I've seen online, however, that also produce good straps, except for one. One that came with a bit of a wow factor that really got me a little bit excited, especially since I was looking for a particular strap for a particular watch. So what I want to do now is I want to flip the camera and I'll show you a couple of the straps that are in my collection that I've actually realised that I actually really enjoy, that have made me enjoy leather straps a little bit more. And I'm going to show you this Barton strap and show you why it has stood out to me and why it suits the watch that I bought for it. So let's flip the camera and let's check out these straps. So here are the watch straps that really stand out to me in my collection. Firstly, my Hamilton Jazzmaster. This is the one that really made a difference for me because firstly, look at that. It looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the thickness of it as well, the quality, and there's a real interesting wow factor to it because it has that big lump to it and being ostrich skin and ostrich leather gives it that really sort of wow factor for me. Nice little buckle and tang as well, which really, really sort of then really stood out to me as in, yes, this is a really good quality strap. As you can see, already worn in, and this made a difference for me. This told me, taught me that I actually like leather straps. They just gotta be the right leather straps. And then went on to getting my Glycine, which doesn't have the huge wow factor that the Hamilton does, but it's just beautiful. Not only the color is wonderful, but it just feels lovely on wrist, soft, smells like lovely leather, and really nice on wrist. This one here is actually my Citizen, but I'm wearing the Beluva strap on it from my parking meter. I think it looks actually quite good on this one. This one definitely has a wow factor with those two sort of bumps. I think it just gives it something. And it's also beautiful, lovely and soft, good quality. I am decided that yes, I love watch leather straps. But yes, I'm a bit of a snob, unfortunately. Which then led me to try and find watch straps from other places that I really struggled to find them from. And I found one specifically for this vintage sauna because I really wanted something that fit it really well, looked good, but had a little bit of an interest factor, a little bit of a wow factor. And this one here is a Barton strap. There we go, Barton. Now, overall, their straps look really good, as good as many other sort of companies out there. But this one had that wow factor because check that out. Oh, I really like it. I think it just gives it a little bit of something to it, something that stands out, something that looks interesting, gives it something. This one here, it's lovely, great quality, great looking, but it doesn't really have that wow factor. But this one and this one have a wow factor, and this absolutely has a wow factor. I love the color. This is sort of like a caramel color, I think they call it, but it's pure leather, has that double bump on both sides. It's really lightweight and relatively thin as well, which I think really suits this watch because it's another thing that I learned very quickly about sort of looking for leather straps because as much as I absolutely love this strap, and I do, it's hugely thick. And it doesn't suit every watch because I've been wearing this on some other watches and some it suits really well. Being that thick, it does not suit every watch. This one here being a sort of a hand wound sort of a vintage watch, it needed something a little bit more delicate, a little bit thin. And that's exactly what the Barton strap has given me. And with a little bit of wearing in, it looks absolutely fantastic on wrist as well. I think it really suits the style of the watch. It suits the quality of the watch. And I think it looks really fun. Now, guys, if you like this video, maybe check these ones out next.